Hello, here's a quick video to demonstrate posting uh, to WordPress from the front end with this REST API using a Vue.js app. So, what we're going to do is um, use this little skip ahead bit here. We're going to grab the plugin straight from the repository and build it. We're already in our uh, plugins directory. Here it is. Now the next thing we need to do is create a template for this plugin to run in. So let's use our themes page template. And save it as API test. We don't need any of this metadata, nor do we need to loop through and fetch content. So our plugin is going to go ahead and inject that using the page content hook. Speaking of which, there's our plugin code. Here's where our page slug is defined. And here's the page content hook. There's the bit of markup that's injected so that um, the Vue.js app knows where to bootstrap to. All right, oh, let's save our uh, template. Okay, now let's head back over to WordPress and activate our plugin. One other thing I want to mention is uh, permalink settings. This plugin has been uh, verified to work with post name permalink setting. Um, so you might want to make sure that's uh, set up as well if you have any problems. Now the next bit we need to do is changed to a different branch, I think, of our plugin. Currently in the master branch. So let's go into our plugin and fetch the Axios feature branch. This takes a little bit of time as it goes through and reads the package JSON um, manifest to install all the dependencies for the application. While that's going on, we head back over to the dashboard. And make sure that we've got everything. No pages. We need to add a new page here to uh, define a page slug that matches our template name. 
So you can see here, API test, let's publish this. This is where our form will reside. This is basically creating the, uh, the page slug for our template to hook into. Let's verify that it's there. And we have it. Now notice there's nothing here, just a blank page. That's what we want at this point. Now going back over to our command line interface. Now that we've installed everything, let's um, go ahead and build our app. script that was created in the uh, source map so if we look in our distribution folder there we have it it's all compiled from the source I'll go ahead I have to do Node.js using Axios as you can see it's all been compiled and optimized all right so let's go see if this works Refresh our page. Aha, now we have a form. Make sure it works. There's an alert I have set up in the app. Let's go to our dashboard. And there it is, the one we just created. Now I've got these set up to uh, post in uh, draft mode uh, in this proof of concept. So that's it. We're done.